I saw Molly at the Lakeview. She told me about this donation she made to the hospital, the one she was keeping from Mike. I assume you know that. Yeah. Did she, Molly was so serious about keeping it a yeah, secret. Yeah, I know, I know. Don't worry about it. It's all right. Listen, she should really give Molly a call. Without her, she... She was a big part of the reason why I'm here right now. What do you mean? She got my message that I called the wedding off. She asked me what happened. I, I tried to make her leave, but she hung in there, and she made me... She made me think. And she reminded me, among other things, that life's too short. And how rare true love is. Now, maybe I would have come to those conclusions on my own, but... She's a good friend, Carly. To both of us. She is. Maybe there's some way I can help her. We might get back together. Yeah, well, it, it couldn't hurt. Listen, if, if you're ready to go, I don't mind waiting. No, it's, I have a few things to do, and it's not going to take me long, but I work better if I'm alone. I'll sit in the corner. I Just won't say a word. go, okay? <laughs> okay? I will be fine. All right, we okay. are going to have a great life. I know. I could have gone somewhere. Anywhere. That was a very private conversation that you guys should have had alone. Well, I have nobody but myself to blame. Don't start blaming yourself, Carly. Why not? I am a horrible, just disgusting, despicable human being. Lying to the man I love or the man I slept with just a few hours ago was hiding around the corner. Do you have any idea how that makes me feel? Okay, there's no reason Jack ever needs to find out about this, okay? It to me as if it never happened. Did you hear what he said? It was Molly who encouraged him to come after me. And isn't that just like her? To put her problems aside as she thought I needed help. And look what I give to her in return. Don't do this, Carly, all right? It, it happened, it's over, all right? Nobody can ever find out about this, Mike. Oh, it's... Right? It'll be you our have secret. to promise me. Trust me, it'll be our secret. All right. I really wish I could have given you guys some privacy in that conversation. But in a sense, I'm, I'm kind of glad I heard what he had to say. That guy's got a lot of guts. And in what way? It's not real easy for a guy to admit when he's wrong. Oh. Well, you know, Jack isn't the only guy who can take back something he said. Subtle, Carly, very mm. subtle. Why don't you go to Molly and apologize to or admit that you were wrong? I'm not sure I was, not completely. <sighs> well, then open your heart. See where that takes you. I don't know if I can explain to you how it felt when I found out that Molly was the one who manipulated me into staying in Oakdale. As a very wise man once told me, it happened. It's over. You know, I really hate it when people throw my own words back in my face. Mm -hmm. I just want you to be happy. And I've seen you with Molly, and I think that you have a, a chance at that with her. I'll think about it, Carly. That's, that's the best I can do. Good. I'll be rooting for you. I'm sorry. When you showed up here last night, I certainly had no intention. Whoa, whoa wait a minute, wait a minute. First off... I'm a big boy, okay? I can take responsibility for everything that I did last night. Secondly, I'm not sorry, all right? So there's no reason for you to apologize. Are you serious? No regrets? If what happened last night ends up ruining our friendship, yeah. Yeah, then I'm going to feel bad. Same thing if it gets out. But I'm not going to tell you that I was sorry for making love to you. That sounds like a compliment. 
But somehow it doesn't seem right to say thank you. I think it's best if we just stay out of each other's way for a while, all right? Mm-hmm. Good luck. Not yeah, tonight. I'll make sure no one sees me on the way out, all right? Oh.